Matthew, a University of Utah chemistry professor who also just happens to be the mom of triplets, is doing something you'd probably never guess. She's becoming an American ninja warrior. Tonight we take you inside the story of this 44-year-old ninja professor, Dan Roscoe, and joining us live. Chemistry and fitness warrior and mom of triplets <laughs> usually don't go hand in hand. Yeah, that's not the, the case usually there, Shauna. They don't add up, and that's what makes Janice Catwell's story so interesting. But becoming a contestant on the hit show American Ninja Warrior is just the beginning of this woman's accomplishment. There is something about vials, color change, and chemicals that excites Woo! Janice Cantwell. I'm a proud card-carrying nerd. I'm not embarrassed to say that. Janice is actually so Professor Cantwell. The kinetics of this reaction. At the University of Utah. So this is called, it's called an oscillating clock. A woman with some serious intelligence who got her PhD in chemistry from Yale. That is the energy required to combust. That's why the one mathematical equation that doesn't seem to add up here is that this 44-year-old chemistry professor is also... An American Ninja Warrior. I am now officially a ninja. And watching her train is a sight to see as she swings through the air with the greatest of ease. Feels awesome. It feels absolutely amazing. We always talk about who's the strongest. It all started a year ago when Janice and her husband were watching the hit show American Ninja Warrior. Ninja Warrior is, is one of those shows that's so fun to watch. But Janice didn't just want to watch it. She wanted to compete in it. Fitness has always been a really big part of my life. For proof, just take a look at her impressive resume. It includes being a cheerleader at UCLA, a bodybuilder, a yoga instructor, and her greatest accomplishment? Cool, let me see. The mother of five-year-old triplets. Let me see Kylie. There is Kylie. Good job, Jade. Jade and Kane. Yes! But even after all that Janice has done, she still wanted to add one more to her list of amazing accomplishments. <laughs> Becoming the ultimate fitness warrior. I guess I just don't know when to stop. <laughs> She's a special kind of person. Her husband, Chris, says he's used to it. And that's what he loves about his wife. Whatever she takes on, she attacks. It's time to get the chain down. This is Janice's video she submitted to the Ninja Show. She was picked for more than 70,000 applicants to compete. I think the odds of getting into PhD school are probably easier than getting on the show currently for Ninja Warrior. But no matter how hard you train, Janice says you're never quite sure what obstacle they're going to throw at you. And at the competition, you don't get a dry run. You're on your edge the entire time because you, you can't really fall back on muscle memory. Yes, yes, yes. But the obstacles, you're thinking, huh, I've trained it this way, but there was never a rope there. But who would have thought this petite chemistry nerd would be so tough and become the ninja professor? There shouldn't be these stereotypes that people who excel academically aren't necessarily people who can't lift a barbell or swing on a rope. <laughs> Pretty incredible there, someone you don't want to mess with. Now Janice already competed with 100 other athletes in one of the Ninja Warrior fitness competitions in Oklahoma City on May 13th, but she can't tell us right now how she did. You'll have to find that out when the show airs next Monday night on June 20th. For more information on this story and other Inside the Stories, go to KUTV.com, click on Features and Inside the Story. You kind of like how the camera wasn't wide on me, so I was just kind of walking along there. You, know, I just, you, you just, you I just was wanted actually to show hanging. us your muscles. No, I was actually hanging. No, I wasn't trying to show You should try out for that show. You, could, you know, yeah, you have right. potential there. Yeah. Nice right. biceps, Dan.